Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we are going to talk about Wellington, New Zealand again, but we're going to talk about 10 places that I highly recommend you visit if you're ever in Wellington. Now, if you didn't see my previous video where I talked about five things that I love about Wellington, New Zealand, I will link it above. But today we're going to talk about 10 places. Now, this isn't like the only places that I highly recommend. These are just 10 of them. There's probably a lot more, but there's 10 that I would definitely recommend that I personally like. Uh, and no, none of them are paying me or sponsoring me to say this. This is actually what I think and places that I really love and that I think that you should check out. So here we go. Okay, so the first place that I think that you should check out is Te Papa, which is the National Museum of New Zealand. It's free of charge. It's like three or four stories high and it takes you all day. So if you come in, you can get through a lot of it probably in a half a day, but if you're really into museums and you wanna see everything, plan for a whole day. It is a great museum and they always have something else going on there where there's like a special exhibit or a special thing that you can walk through and I highly recommend Te Papa. It is one of my highlights. I go there often. <laughs> they have a really nice cafe and store inside so you can kind of plan a whole day there. And then also they have Wellington Museum which is right next door and I recommend that place as well. Uh, but Te Papa, if you are in Wellington, you're not gonna wanna miss it. The second place I recommend if you come to Wellington is you're gonna have to check out the Embassy Theater. Now the Embassy Theater was built in 1924. It's like this really old theater, but they have kind of transformed it multiple times over the years. It did host the premiere of Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. And so it is just a really cool theater. Cause when you go in there, they have like the, the cool stair case when you go up on both sides and then when you kind of sit like in real theater seating because it used to be like a real theater and it's just really cool and it's really well done and they do have a cinema in there that has like 36 surround sound speakers with Dolby digital all of that and it's kind of a really cool immersive experience that you can have at the embassy theater and so you should definitely check it out because I love that theater and if you're going to see any sort of action-packed film you're definitely going to want to see it uh, at the embassy and certainly any movie that Peter Jackson made or that was made uh, in New Zealand, you should see at the embassy. Now you're all familiar that fish and chips is a very popular meal that they eat in New Zealand as a whole. So what is my favorite fish and chip shop in Wellington? It's the Chippery. And so if you happen to be at Embassy Theater or you wanna get something to eat before you go to that movie, I highly recommend the Chippery because it's just right around the corner and it's really, really good. Now, personally, I think that the fish and chips in the South Island as a whole in New Zealand are much better. But if you were in Wellington, this is one that I really like and I think that you would like to so if you haven't checked it out check out the chippery in Wellington that's what I recommend for fish and chips if you have a different one that you recommend in Wellington it's not that I've tried every one comment below and let me know because I would love to try it because I love fish and chips Okay, the fourth place that I recommend is the Thai Chef Restaurant. This is my favorite Thai restaurant in all of the Wellington region, even in the Hutt Valley. There's lots of good Thai, but I'm telling you, this chef, this Thai Chef Restaurant is the best. And it's just down the street from the Embassy Theater. So when you get out of your movie and you're feeling hungry again, go get Thai food here. It is so good. It's just down the street. It's just off of Courtney Place. And Courtney Place is kind of the, the cool hip hop and place to be when you're in Wellington. It's like a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a lot of clubs, lots of fun things to do. That's where people kind of go to on the weekends uh, for the party scene. And so it's just off of there. It's a really good, it's kind of down a, like a, a side street. So it's, it's, it's quiet and it's private and it's also close to Te Papa. So if you happen to spend the day all at the museum, then go to this Thai restaurant. I highly recommend it. <laughs> they um, are not sponsoring me to say this. I just actually really love this Thai restaurant. <laughs> Okay, and the fifth place that I recommend that you do when you're in Wellington, and I have to say this because I have children, is you have to take them to time zone. So if you have been sitting on your butt watching a movie and then eating fish and chips or Thai, it's time to go to time zone. Now time zone is just a really fun arcade. It's really easy because you can just get a, like you get a card and you just scan it to buy um, all of the different games and arcade games and then you collect 
tickets and you can get prizes and it's like really cool and I love it and my kids love it and I I don't know I guess I'm a little bit of a kid, a kid at heart uh, so my favorite is um, the deal or no deal <laughs> and I always like the dance ones I love the whack-a-mole but in this case at time zone they had whack-a-minion and so I had to play that because I love that game. <laughs> so yes, if you have kids or you're just a kid at heart, I highly recommend checking out Time Zone. It is a great place. It's like right in the middle of Courtney Place. So when you're just hanging out, you need something to do uh, and you're looking for something a little fun or maybe it started raining and you need something that you can do that's indoors, I highly recommend Time Zone. Okay, now if you've been watching my videos, you know how much I love coffee. Now, you are not going to be disappointed by going to any cafe, I think, in Wellington. Like, I have never been disappointed. But I am going to recommend two to you today. The first one being Hanger, and it is honestly the best coffee. They have really great food there, too. Uh, whether you just like, um, like a cheese scone or some a scone, or if you actually want breakfast, both are very good at Hanger. I highly recommend that place, but definitely really good coffee. <laughs> like really good coffee. And then the second one, if you want something fun and more eclectic, I highly recommend Espressoholic. That is a really cool place on Cuba Street. It's kind of in the artsy district and just a fun shopping street where no cars can go down it. And uh, it's just lots of, it has a really great vibe to it. And Espressoholic, I think has been around for a really long time and it's just kind of a cool place to get coffee. Uh, so like if you're looking for a place with atmosphere, I'd probably go there and uh, the coffee is also very, very good. So I highly recommend Hanger and Espressoholic if you're going to check out a coffee place in Wellington, New Zealand. Okay, now moving on to other important things. In addition to coffee, you need to try the chocolate that is in Wellington. It is so good. So the first place that I'm going to recommend is obviously the Wellington Chocolate Factory. Now this company actually hasn't been around for a long time, but they have a really, really cool story. So if you go there, uh, find out about the story. It is very, very cool. They're the, the, um, the first chocolate factory that are beans to bar in Wellington uh, and maybe in New Zealand. I'm not that familiar. I don't remember offhand, but they're really, really cool. Uh, all, all organic. They work with the farmers overseas and they're creating a really good relationship with them, paying them well. And it's just kind of a really cool organization to get behind. And I highly recommend Wellington Chocolate Factory. And it's really cool when you go in, uh, you can see them making uh, the chocolate and it's just very fresh and then they have really great things on the menu if you want a good hot chocolate or iced chocolate or some ice cream and they have just like you can dip uh, donuts in chocolate all really really good and so check out the Wellington Chocolate Factory check out their story see what they're up to they haven't been around for too long like I think five years or less uh, or maybe a little bit more than that. And they just are very, very cool. <laughs> they have a really cool company. I've talked to the owner before and just really cool what they're doing. And they're always doing neat things and they're kind of creating new chocolates with other organizations and other uh, restaurants in the area and creating and kind of combining their flavors and doing really cool things. So check them out. If you're ever in Wellington, check out the Wellington Chocolate Factory. So sometimes it can be cold, it can be rainy, it can be windy, especially in the winter time. And if you're looking for a delicious hot chocolate when you are in Wellington, I highly recommend the hot chocolate at Scoopa. It's like amazing. It's like literally like liquid chocolate in your mouth, but like not too rich. It's like, I don't know what they do. It's like the most amazing flavor. So that's what I recommend for the best hot drink. If you're not getting coffee, if you're not into coffee, go get hot chocolate from Scoopa. It's also a pizza place. I haven't actually tried their pizza. It looks really good. So you could go there for pizza and a hot chocolate and it's right on Cuba Street. And it's in a great location, kind of right in the middle. And it's really easy to get to. And it's kind of in a, just a cool area to be in. So definitely check out the hot chocolate at this place. And I did do a vlog recently uh, where my kids tried this hot chocolate for the first time. So I'll link it above so you guys can watch that one and you can kind of see what it looks like and what my kids were, <laughs> my kids reaction to this delicious hot chocolate. So I highly recommend this place. Now the final place that I'm gonna recommend when you come to visit Wellington, New Zealand, and I have to recommend a burger. I just wouldn't be an American if I did it right? So I'm going to recommend, there's a lot of good places actually that have good burgers, 
but I have to say one of my favorites it just makes the burger similar to what they make in the Midwest like the butter burger it's so good the bun is so good I'm gonna recommend Gorilla Burger now Gorilla Burger is just and it's in a food truck in it's, I love food trucks. So <laughs> I love that it's in a food truck. Uh, it's actually right by the Wellington uh, Chocolate Factory. It's actually between the Wellington Chocolate Factory and Scoopa. So, you know, you could go have a burger and then go have a hot chocolate or go get some chocolate. It's so good. Uh, and so go check that out. And they have like a little seating area outside and their burgers are very good. Now, I haven't had, they have other, they have chicken burgers and that sort of thing on the menu, but I haven't gotten past the burger because every time I go, just give it to me. You know, I just love a really good burger and they don't always have it in New Zealand. I generally don't order burgers from places because unless I know that they're going to be really good, uh, but this place, I highly recommend if you're in Wellington, check out Gorilla Burger. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video showing you all my favorite spots of Wellington today. I really enjoyed it, but I'm tired and unfortunately my phone is dying and so I have to finish this off in my car while it's plugged in. And I am eating my Gorilla Burger because sorry, I'm American. Of all the food that I see today, I just really want the burger and I will finish it off with my Wellington chocolate from the Wellington Chocolate Factory. So. I hope you enjoyed the episode this week and subscribe below, click the bell, and I will see you next week.